Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I'm bringing you some big news from Laxadays, or rather the studio behind it, Machine Elf Studios. Now, before I start, make sure you like the video and subscribe. Very few of you all are subscribed. You can always unsubscribe later, but let's get into it. I'm going to try to go through it kind of fast because there's actually like two different things this news. The uh, first one's not that big. The first one um, is all about the local plushies and t shirts. Pretty much, they found the uh, supplier and manufacturer. Now they've just got to get people's information and send them out pretty soon. That's what the first piece of news. But the second one is that over the past few months, they've been hard at work optimizing the game. And I'm just going to give you all the short version because I'm going to have the post and a link in the description below. But what it's essentially is they want to use the Kickstarter money to upgrade the art style and the graphic fidelity of Laxadays. It, they had been running into some graphic fidelity issues and some performance issues with just Unity, which is what they've been using. So they had two options, which was, what was it? It was Unity's HDRP pipeline or the Unreal Engine 5. Now using Unity's HDRP, they were able to improve graphic fidelity greatly, but they came, they still were experiencing performance issues when they were trying to render larger and more open game worlds, which is what they're aiming to have in Laxadays. If you don't know about Laxadays, the first time you're talking about it, just Google Laxadays. You're going to get some good coverage from me and Gym Leader Ed. Uh, one of my most highly anticipated monster taming games. Full stop. It's, it's freaking that cool. Anyways, when they switched to H, yeah, HDRP, they were still having issues. So uh, left them with a the big choice to make, which was, uh, do we use Unity HDRP, which gave us the graphic fidelity we were looking for, but not the performance? and it allowed them to reuse their current code library, or do they make Laxadays from the ground up using Unreal Engine 5, which allows them to have pretty much the performance and graphical fidelity standards that they want for the uh, what's going to be bigger and more intricate game worlds. Now, they have experience using both, but they have more experience using Unity, and they find development easier in Unreal thanks to the multitude of tools Unreal contains out of the box but it, they'd have to build it from the ground up. So to make the Laxadays we have always envisioned, we have decided to switch to the Unreal Engine 5 as it allows us to reach the graphical and performance standards we strive for. So what does this mean for us, the consumers, or even the Kickstarter backers? Unfortunately, this means we will be, uh, there will be a delay in the planned Laxadays release schedule, but ultimately we felt this was the right choice in order to deliver the Laxadays we envision. I have no problem with this, this is always this is already going to be like two, three years out. So adding another year to pretty much make it a game that looks better and performs better. You don't want, um, oh, what was it? Cyber, whatever. Oh my God. I, I can't believe I'm forgetting the name. Anyways, you all know the horrible game that came out that they worked on for so long and still didn't delay it enough. For for a spot of good news, development of Laxadays and Unreal is already underway. As we rebuild Laxadays, we plan to release major game updates every three months going forward. Also follow them on Twitter and get in their Discord uh, as they'll be releasing more minor updates more regularly there. Uh, we know that this is a big change and we want to know what you think as we'll take that feedback into consideration. And that's it for the January 2022 update. Catch you soon. Again. Go in the description below, look at this post, join their Discord, because Discord is where the monster taming community really is, at least in the Western world. I don't know out East, but I'll have a link to my Discord as well, and a link to Gym Leader Ed's Discord, which is the biggest monster taming Discord server when it comes to just monster taming and not re uh, related to just one game. And of course... Actually, I'm just going to link the post and I'll link also the Discord server for Laxadays uh, because go join it. If you've not checked out Laxadays, go check it out. If you love Monster Taming, I think you're going to find it pretty interesting. It's some interesting art style choices, not in a bad way either. Like It's interesting in that even for just a game period, there's not too many games that look that way. It looks pretty good. And I'm using my phone right now for reasons... Anyways, I'm at like 3%, so I'm going to end this video. Just make sure right now you hit that like button, you subscribe. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I would greatly appreciate both. I'm only sitting at, I don't know how many subscribers right now. Not that much. So I greatly appreciate any growth at all. Go check out Lax Days as well. Anyways, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one, and retro on.